Good morning. Welcome to LRS fishing. <laughs> what the heck am I doing walking through the woods? Well, I'm coming up to a clearing now, and it will all become very clear. Wow, quality. Wow. Look at this, people. Look at this. Flip. What am I doing? Well, obviously I'm doing a bit of beach fishing. I'm hoping the weather's going to hold up for us because, yeah, it's not, um, it's looking very cloudy and rainy and wet. It's not ideal. It's not ideal conditions. Sea fishing wise, it's, it almost looks flat calm out there, if I'm completely honest with you. A lot better than it was when I went boat fishing. But the wind is coming from the west. And um, luckily the cliffs are going to protect us, but it's going to be rainy and it's going to be awful. So um, yeah, it's not ideal. But for now, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going, how to get down the cliffs. So I'm going to put the camera down. I just thought I'd say hello quickly while I'm walking, get it out of the way, try and get my bearings and find out where I've got to go. Um, see if I can find out what exactly I'm doing. <laughs> um, hopefully there's going to be like a pathway or something. Uh, leading down so yeah let me put the camera down I'll get back to you guys in a bit <laughs> quality Right, there's one rod out. As you noticed, I just showed you there, I'm on black lug and squid. So, let's give it a go. Frozen black lug, um, that's all I can get. So, that's all right, I don't mind that, that's all good. What place, what place. So there's my rods, we've got an incoming tide. But I'm gonna set up my other rod and I'll talk to you properly in a bit. Now I've cooled down from that walk in, I've had to calm down this. That was tricky because it's been really, it's absolutely shockingly bad. Shockingly bad. <laughs> oh, it's slippy. I literally basically skated the whole way down and nearly fell on my ass a few times. The adventures of fishing. But I've got one rod out. I'm going to get the other one set up, baited up, cast out. So I'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> So, good morning. How are we all today? It's coming up to 5.30. Bear in mind I left the house at quarter, uh, what time is it, quarter to four this morning. No, I woke up at quarter to four this morning, got my stuff together in the car, um, on the road for about 20 past four, something like that. Um, and it's now 5.30. Um, 
first rod that's been in the water about 10-15 minutes so it's all good so as I was saying to you black frozen lug squid dirty squid unwashed squid whatever you want to call it um, I've got my right hand rod my blue rod that's on a pulley panel and my left rod is just a simple Wessex rig uh, like a one up one down um, we've got Oh, just on the Wessex rig, I just small slivers of um, uh, squid, and that's it. Um, simple fishing, simple fishing, and on, on the on the pulley panel, I've done a bigger bait. I haven't been here for such a long time. Um, I fished this beach, but we were way way over there, to the left by the car park at Trimmingham, um, with Rob from RJ Outdoors, um, and I was thinking, you know what? I haven't been here for such a long time. Um, that I, I've actually fished this spot before and it was awful, <laughs> genuinely awful. I got weeded out. Now, Trimingham is known for its weed. Um, is what it is. Last time I came to this spot, I could... Oh, it was genuinely awful. And I wrote the word help out and that was, that was my thumbnail. Just a big help on the beach made out of seaweed. <laughs> the words help made out of seaweed. So that was quite funny. Um, so hopefully we haven't got that situation today. Oh, let me stand up. But, just have to wait and see. When, when, when it's just bent right over and it's not moving, you know you've got issues. The wind's coming from west. It's a bit windier than what I thought. I mean, these, these cliffs are protecting us quite a bit, thank goodness. But it's a bit, it's a, it's a bit of motion in the ocean. I mean, it doesn't look that bad out there, but the tide is ripping through, moving from left to right, going in that direction. Tide's coming in, as I said. Um, massive tides. I was out boat fishing. Uh, that video will come. Oh, I'm, I don't know if I'll, if I'll put this video out first on my boat fishing video. It depends on how things work out. Um, four, four knots of tide ripping through. It's quite incredible, really. Now then, I've got the tide time with me. Let's have a look. So every single time I come fishing, I get it wrong. So today that's gonna to be impossible. Right, I'm gonna have a look at this. Hold on a minute, people. Here we go, I cannot, I cannot get it wrong. May. So we're down here and we want we want the time time for chroma. Alright? I'll read it out to you. So it's Wednesday. So high tide is high tide is at 11 uh, 11.07 high tide. Low water was at well okay so low water is now basically 5.27. So we're at slack water at the moment. So then the tide's gonna turn and it's gonna come ripping through. But I'm going to keep an eye on the rods because I don't want to have a problem with weed. So, yeah, I'm just going to, I've, I've got the um, spare, my spare um, hook length. So I'm going to, I'm going to get that baited up. And now I'm going to bring it in every 15 minutes. And just keep on doing that 15 minutes, refreshing the baits. Because um, if it's not weedy, then obviously I'll leave it out a bit longer and stuff. And then obviously I have to bear in mind the crabs as well. It's not a bad morning. It absolutely burnt it down last night with rain. But look, it's not too bad. I'm in my shorts. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to get that, um, that um, hook length baited up. Get it hung up on the tripod. Get back to you in a bit. So we're just sitting watching my rods. Now the tide was moving from right to left. It's now we had half hour. Well, low water was at uh, 5:27. It's now 10 to 6. So I'm assuming in about 10 minutes or so. When it starts to flood, it will come like this way, coming in like that. Instead of going out like that, it will come in like this. But the tide will be moving from right to left. 
but the wind's picked up and it's moved round. It was westerly, like these cliffs were protecting me, but it's moved round, it's coming from here straight into my face, which is a little bit annoying. It's one of the reasons why I chose here, because the breeze coming in from the west, but it's completely changed. So yeah, a little bit annoying, but there you go. It's not, it's only a breeze, but, Put a bite in here and I wish I put trousers on. You'll be pleased to see I got wellies on. <laughs> I had to buy some more wellies. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave these at the caravan. So if if I ever forget any at home, I've got some here. But look at the I love the clouds, the sun is shining, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna give my blue rod maybe another um, five ten minutes, my right hand rod. Another five, ten minutes, and then we'll reel it in and see what we've got. A ton of weed, no doubt. <laughs> Beautiful morning, though, look at that. Beautiful. No weed, fantastic. But the crabs have been at it. So I'm gonna clip that off, clip the new one on, job's a winner. So my bait's refreshed all round, so I'll give that another 20 minutes and then we'll do the process all over again. God, I tell you, that wind is really, it's put a chill in the air, it's cold, man. We've come up to June, it's cold. It's been an awful, so basically it's half term, uh, May half term. So this probably won't get put out for a couple of weeks. Um, I've still got a video uh, from a couple of weeks ago uh, that I haven't been out, I've been having problems, so. It is what it is, I've just had to try and sort it out. But um, yeah, it's half term at the moment. It's the 20, uh, 28th of May. Blistering heat, oh, this is no joke now, and this is always the way, isn't it? Blistering heat all the way up to the uh, holiday. The, the day we come on holiday, freezing cold, nothing but rain genuinely nothing but rain. and it's been nothing but rain all week uh, we had a break in the weather on monday uh, that's the day i went boat fishing i took my boy we had a blinding session just smooth hounds loads of smooth hounds tons of dogfish and uh, pouting and all that sort of stuff but yeah it was really good on the smooth hounds it was really good fun i lost a massive Matt, you're going to be like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. But right at the end, um, it started thunder and lightning. And um, John was saying, that's it now, it's lightning. And it was close by as well, you could see it, like, going across the sky, it just went black. And um, all the storms have been coming from inland. 
and uh, it just man it absolutely belted down thunder and lightning and um he told a sort of story he actually got hit by lightning he, he was out doing uh, something else um and he was with some friends and his boat got hit by lightning there was fire and everything he said forget it i don't care pull in the plug i mean it was only about 45 minutes to go anyway but fair enough you know safety first and all that especially out to sea i don't fancy being the only object out there in a lightning storm it was quite dramatic actually um but yeah we had a blinding session loads and loads and loads of uh, uh smooth hounds but as everybody was reeling in i struck i i, I, I sort of right, right okay let's go the tide was pulling it was so it was mental and um i just i was gaining line gaining line gaining line and it just it just stopped and it cut it to the left it cut it to the right a little bit and it just sucked itself to the ground and no matter what i did no matter what I, i'm quite a strong bloke no chance my reel exploded now according to now john's been on his boats all his life he was a commercial fisherman he said that was a big skate i just put off like, oh no because the line snapped and everything and I, I didn't notice really and i put it on the on the on the side i broke it all down i was like hold on a minute i look at my reel and it was just in bits genuinely in bits the top of it just exploded the pressure was immense on top of that with the tide as well so he goes yeah that was a really that would have been a really nice skate but it wasn't to be i'll talk about the one that got away it was actually massive but there you go <laughs> Oh well, it was an experience, that's for sure. So I'm just going to sit on my hands and reminisce about that. Fingers crossed the fish is going to come along. Now slack water, not much movement, but I'm hoping once the tide starts to turn and come in, they do say an hour... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. An hour either side, or two hours either side of low and high. So hopefully two hours into the flood, that should be the golden hour, golden golden period, the golden time for fishing. Apparently. So I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna let the let let everything take its course. I've got another bait on my tripod ready and waiting, so I'm just gonna relax and chill for a bit. If I catch anything, you be the first to know. <laughs> What are you all catching? Are you out there fishing? Let me know in the comments section. Uh, I, I really enjoy reading the comments. Um, I just, I don't know, I just really enjoy it. You know, hearing about what people are getting up to. Like, I'm fishing here, I'm, you know, catching this, this and that. It's good, I like it. Build up a bit of a community, you know? Well, that's the idea anyway. And while we're on the subject, I'm so close to you know i've only got a hundred 110 to go something like that i'm not too sure what my subscribers so 800 and something so taking three years <laughs> but that's all right but yeah help me get to that massive a thousand subs thousand subscribers that's the one thing i've always said when i start you when i started this youtube game I just want to get to the thousand subs and then whatever else after that, I don't care. If I st end up staying on a thousand for the next five years, I honestly don't care. It's just a bench, it's a goal, isn't it? <laughs> it's a benchmark. And then whatever else happens after that, whatever, I'm fine with that. So yeah, if you could do me a massive favour and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And also, I was looking on my... Uh, my um, you've got an app for your youtube studio right apparently a lot of my subscribers are from america so if you are watching from abroad america or whatever 
hello. What, what's going on, man? Thank you for watching some random guy on a Norfolk beach on a tiny little island called England. Fair play. <laughs> Not quite like uh, the fishing you get in like Florida and all that lot, is it? You lot don't know how lucky you are, you really don't. Come, come, we'll swap, yeah? I'll come and fish where you are, and then you come and fish the North Sea for a bit. That'll be good, won't it? But yeah, no, for any, all of my subscribers, I'm so grateful for you all. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, just, just, just hit subscribe, man. It's free at the end of the day. It doesn't cost you nothing, and it helps me out. So I would be incredibly grateful. But for now, I've just refreshed all the baits, so I'm just gonna sit in my box, um, maybe in about 10 minutes or so, because the sea is creeping up on me a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna maybe move it up there onto the sand, up onto the, where, it, where, it, where you, you can see like, you know, this line here, I'll probably move it to about there then. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> but so far, no fish. And this cloud is getting closer, I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like it. The breeze has picked up, it's coming straight into my face now. <laughs> oh no. That looks like the cloud of doom. As you can see, I've moved about 150, 200 yards. I was right over there and I've come here, but I've got issues. This rod is hooped over and it's stayed like that. I think I've, I've cast out and the tide's pulling and it's, I think it's rolled my lead or something into a... You can see the other one, how the right hand, because I've swapped, I've put, I put my um, Shakespeare agility was on this side, but I put it that side, cast it over there, and it's just come this way, the line's come this way, and I think it's gone into a snake, because look how this one's behaving, it's moving about, but this one, my agility, my blue rod, it's just fixed in a position. I think I'm in a snag. So I'm gonna have a look at that. I think it's literally just gone over and it's rolled into a snag because that is stuck fast it's not moving it's not nodding it's not doing anything yeah so let me sort this out and I'll get back to you good guy scrubs having a scrap with my hooks it's the most action I've had all day that's the only, all the baits have been coming back pretty much untouched. I mean, look, for example, on this other rig, I've just ruled it in. Look at that. Completely untouched. So this is the first bit of uh, action I've had. He's got a couple looks in him, so I'm going to sort him out and chuck him back. And I'm going to pack that rod down. I've just recast that one out, so I'll leave that one on fishing while I break my gear down. All right, I'll sort this guy out, and um, yeah, I'll get back to you. So, as you can see, I'm back at the car now. Oh, that was hard work getting back up the old uh, cliff there. I was really sweating. But, oh, that fishing, that was awful, wasn't it? Not good, not good at all. But that is the way it goes when it comes to fishing, unfortunately. Um, oh God, I, I tried everything, I moved, changed, uh, I, I changed, I changed the, um, I, didn't, I didn't put it on camera because I couldn't be bothered. But I had, um, what rig was it? A free hook Paternoster rig. I put one of them on. Um, I had one in. I had a free hook Paternoster rig, so I changed that from the Wessex rig to that one. Made no difference whatsoever. Um, so yeah, here I am sat in the van, uh, sat in the car, a bit disappointed. But there you go. That's the way it goes. Um, I'll, I did try. So you know what could I do? I'm sorry I couldn't show you any fish, but um, there's always next time, isn't there? 
but for now I'm gonna get home get something to eat because I'm absolutely starving and um, I'll just like to say thank you for watching LRS Fishing if you could please subscribe like I said to you earlier this morning um, you know I'm so close to that thousand subscribers mark um, so it, it mean the world to me if you could subscribe um, help my channel grow get me to that thousand uh, subscribers so again thank you for watching LRS Fishing you know what <laughs> wherever there's water I'll be there catch you later guys